the things that Vanessa didn't talk about was the fact that uh, in February uh, of this year, which is about uh, what four months ago, uh, she had also undergone uh, a failed manipulation under general anesthetic for that shoulder. She's going to talk about that experience right now, and then we're going to get right to the OAT, non-surgical operation for adhesive capsulitis frozen shoulder. So Vanessa, what was your experience uh, with the manipulation? And, and Gary, if you want to interject and throw anything in there, just go ahead. What happened? How did you come across the manipulation, MUA, and manipulation under general anesthetic? Um, this was through our private cons consultant mm -hmm. um, after sort of having a, a physical examination. Mm -hmm. It was um, through it in a day case. Mm -hmm. So it was arranged. I went in early in the morning. I had a, a general anaesthetic. Um, I was probably out for about half an hour. Mm -hmm. But when I came through, when I came to, I was in an awful lot of pain that I had to have morphine. Um, the pains in my shoulder I couldn't cope with. I couldn't have lifted my arm up, I couldn't have done anything with my arm at all. Um, so I had morphine all day long and then went home and then I was still on very strong painkillers. Narcotics, yeah? Yes. Um, so nothing really was done physically with my arm for probably over a week. Um, the physiotherapy that we wanted to have through the private um, insurance we weren't allowed to have from the hospital so we had to go outside um, to another clinic um, who clearly didn't understand frozen shoulder and I was just given a few exercises to do with a stick and a towel um, so basically I got nowhere maybe the arm probably up about another six inches in range and a hell of a lot of pain and an awful lot of pain and I've had that now right up until this last week and the manipulation of general anesthetic was in the hospital? it was yes Yeah. Yes. Um, he couldn't prescribe me um, codeine orally, so I had um, fentanyl patches. Fentanyl? That, that I've been on. Heaviest, heaviest addictive possible drug that you could ever be on. Yes. Whoa. Yes. That's like heavy, heavy, heavy. Every three days. You didn't get addicted to it? No, I, this last week I've actually come off of it. It wasn't easy. No. It was hard coming off yes. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, there's the story about manipulation under general anesthetic and uh, certainly horror stories come out about that all the time, which is why a lot of hospitals don't do it anymore. A lot of uh, fractures, dislocations, even when they're teaching it, you can even see it on YouTube and the, the doctors are talking about it saying, you know, there's a risk of that and it does happen. And certainly capsular tearing in 80% of the cases, so I don't think that is the root of choice. Uh, certainly, if it was my choice, it wouldn't be the one that I would take. But we're just about ready to do the uh, the operation now, the the OAT, non-surgical operation for frozen shoulder, uh, where we still have the holding elements in place. The patient is awake. Certainly, she's more relaxed than she would be normally with a little bit of medication there. And there's some anesthetic in the actual capsule itself to alleviate some of the discomfort she might experience during the procedure. But uh, because the holding elements are in place, there's protective mechanisms that are in place now uh, protecting the capsule from injury, whereas when the patient is uh, completely and totally paralyzed, uh, and uh, which is what happens with general anesthetic, they're paralyzed, they have placid paralysis. There's absolutely no holding elements in place to protect the capsule or protect the joint from injury or damage, and very indiscriminate movements that are made then at that point without any conscious uh, awareness or participation on the part of the patient make it an extremely dangerous type of procedure to have done. So that's the... Uh, that's the discussion we've had on MUA, manipulation under general anesthetic.